Table number six, written and read by Emily W. Recchio. Eating breakfast alone is surprisingly lonely. Like that unbearable ex-favorite song after a breakup, table number six is teeming to the brim with 1,000 sour calories. It is stale, this food, picked too early, served too late, and bitter. You have told me on two occasions that you enjoy morning solitude, once when we were together, the next time we weren't. We were, in fact, as far apart as it is possible to be. Your cheeks, once flushed with daring late-night secrecy, are plain ivory, angry porcelain teacups stripped from the conveyor belt before the pattern has dried. Won't the pink come back? Please. Gather your rainbows, unlock this door, it is thatched only with straw, after all. My heart is pounding with all of the things you never told me. Call me a fool. I love you. Consider me wretched. You will never be okay. Ask too much of me. You will never be right, but do not insult my instinct. Because my instinct, it calls for more. It recognizes that cucumber lotion splayed between your spidery palms and your pounding feet on staircase landings. You oughtn't stomp, my dear, and the only voice I have ever fallen in love with. So just this once, let's set the table for two. I will pour the coffee like a gypsy and a gentleman combined and ask you what you'd like. And you will say another girl and be on your silly way.